building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to in unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, death and destruction. <laughs> This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Death's in the air. And there's free coffee in the lobby. Only one of you will survive. Anyway, we know you have many choices for your murder hotel needs, and we're grateful you chose us. Okay, first question. What's the name of the economic union comprised of Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands? Use your device to answer the question. It goes for the audience, too. <laughs> Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to Room 101. I hope you like gifts. Some families hide their shame. We gift wrap them. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Family stuff is weird, huh? Grandpappy Jack's glasses. They say they let him see things no mortal mind can comprehend. He succumbed to supernatural madness. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Moving on. Who will win? Who will die? Maybe the audience. Hey audience, good luck out there. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience whenever. It's like super low pressure. Let's try another one. Time for a mother question. I mean, another question. According to Freud, what is responsible for your sense of morality? Who picked this? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to room 227. Let's play with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. This is a game for people who like blackjack, but hate using cards. Time's almost up! I see you're unlucky in dice. You're back! Dying doesn't mean you have to drop out. 
keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Which of the following is a preposition? Who picked this? The rest of you, time for consequences. Oh hey, more dice. Don't worry, this one's real straightforward. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. I see you want the least exciting route. Yay, now roll. The player with the highest total dies. My money. Hey, that's dice for ya. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! What does PS stand for? ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Write your answers now. Answer time is coming to an end. Now, let's see if there are any matches. I guess you can't be mind readers if you've barely got a mind. Those glasses look good on you, but otherwise you're not doing so hot. Let's try another one. A male cat is called a Tom, but what is a female cat called? Magic time! Pick a space inside the box to hide. Some spots are better than others, but don't overthink it. Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Now, can you confirm that we've never met before? 
<laughs> Just kidding. A little magician banter. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. If you have trouble picking a spot, just take a stab at it. Stab, stab! Ta-da! Look, I know those supernatural glasses may be unlocking your doors of perception, but you have to get your head in the game. You are blowing it! Let's keep moving. Which of these American places is totally badass because it does not observe daylight savings time? Consequences. Let's get our math on. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If one of them does better than you, it's punishment time. Let's go. There's just something about numbers, right? Only a couple seconds of math left. How did you beat math? Math always wins. Let's try another one. Which of these foods was invented in the United States? Show you something. Congrats! All of you are entered in my scratch ticket giveaway. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching! Why stop now? The contest is almost over. I guess I was hoping you'd be a little bit more scratch happy. Oh well. We know what a losing ticket means. They say if someone dies wearing my grandpappy's glasses, every living person who witnesses it is inflicted with the supernatural madness. Tough break. Let's keep moving. What country is the Sistine Chapel in? Who picked 
this. Only a ghost got it wrong. Lucky guesses. Let's try another one. What's the name of the postal worker on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and also Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood? Instructions. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. Speaking of rules, you ever used a slide rule? It's kind of like a guillotine, but for numbers. Almost out of rules time! You got outruled! Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Has an exoskeleton. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Is almost up. I don't have anything good to say about how the audience is doing. Cats in the musical, cats. Don't look back because 
because there's a ghost right there. Boy Scout Merit Badges. Don't let the darkness hit you on the way out. Vitamins. Almost up. The exit is so close. Where do you think you're going? If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. There's not much time. I'm Dr. Caralda, a licensed physician of the mystical arts. You seem to have been infected by a supernatural madness. Not to be confused with a real mental illness, which is a serious issue that I have no formal training in. Quickly, you need to answer this question correctly or forever be tormented by spooky apparitions. Which of these animals eats other animals? Kind of a softball, honestly, but important nonetheless. It all comes down to this. You did it! You're free of the evil! If anyone asks, I was never here. By law, I'm not allowed to set foot in a hospital anymore. Thank you. 